Welcome to Podcast 2-5, Proving Lines Parallel. First, we've already looked at parallel lines, that if we know that they're parallel lines, then we know what the measures are going to be like. That is how they relate. Either angles are equal, or angles add up to 180, or supplementary. So, again, if the lines are parallel, we know certain angles are equal. Now the question is, if certain angles are equal, how do we know the lines are parallel? So it's kind of the same question backwards. So let's take a look at the possibilities. First, if we know that these two angles are equal, then do we know the lines are parallel? That's a big yes, because we have a name for it, and that name is corresponding angles. So if these two particular angles are uh, equal, then we'll say that the two lines, name the lines, N and M, or M and N, are parallel, and the reason is their position. Here's also another hint. If you highlight the angles in question, they form a type of shape. So you could say by highlighting the parallels and the transversal that connects the vertices of these angles, they form an F. So corresponding angles, in a way, are the F shape. Now that F shape could be upside down as an F as well, but some type of F shape. Take these two particular angles. If these two are not necessarily equal, but if their sum is 180, are these lines parallel? Well, again, if we trace the angles, that is, the vertex, the vertex, trace the two sides of that angle, trace the two sides of that angle, they form a shape, which you already know the name, but I'm trying to emphasize that this C-like shape is going to give you an idea that it is the consecutive interior angles. So again, if angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary, are the lines parallel and why? Your answer, yes, M is parallel to N, and the reason is consecutive interior angles. Again, they kind of form a C-like shape. Next, if these two are congruent, again, my advice, trace them. Let's use my tracer. Oh, I like this. This will be good. How about that? Trace angle 1, trace angle 2 with apples if they're available, and you will see that if this angle is equal to this one, then the line M is parallel to N for the reason of the names of those angles, alternate interior angles. So alternate interior angles have a Z-like shape, and the corners are equal. And finally, I have one more, and that is if this particular angle here, if we trace it, let's even use a highlighter. If this angle right here is congruent to this, no, I don't like the highlighter, let's go back to this. This angle right here is congruent to this angle right here. That is, trace the parallels, or the potential parallels, and the transversal. They form a, well, an absolutely nothing shape. So that particular shape, we're just going to call alternate exterior, because that's what they're called. So, the question is, if angles are equal, are the lines parallel, and why? So we have these four possibilities. That is, this crazy particular shape here. I wouldn't call it a Z. But in review, we have the f shape angles we call corresponding. The C-like shape angles, and they're not equal. They're supplementary. We call those consecutive interior. The Z-like shape angles are alternate interior. And the unusual shape, alternate exterior. So if we have those, we have a reason. So here's the question. A more unusual situation, and I give you two random angles somewhere, and I tell you that these two angles are equal. Fact. Given angle 1 congruent to angle 2 are two lines parallel and Y. My advice, trace the angle. Trace the angle. Two sides make an angle. You'll find that the angles always connect and ask yourself, which one of these shapes do I have? Hopefully now you're thinking you have the Z shape, known as alternate interior. Here's another bit of advice. 
What line did you not trace? We didn't touch this line. It had nothing to do with it. So by ignoring the line that's irrelevant, we can see that these are the parallels and the connectors of the transversal. Therefore, A and B are the parallels. A parallel to B, and the reason is alternate interior, that Z-like shape. Let's take two more. What if, for example, this was congruent to this? So, if angle 1 is congruent to angle 2, which two lines are parallel, if any, and why? My advice again. Here's the vertex. Here's the vertex. Let's trace the sides of angle 2. Trace the sides of angle 1. What's connecting the vertices? And you have traced the parallels and the transversal. What line did you not trace? You didn't touch this particular line. So ignore it. And you'll see that the connectors, the transversal, the other two lines must be the parallels. So M is parallel to N. And the reason is, well, what do we call these? That's the crazy situation, alternate exterior angles. Please don't answer the crazy situation. Let's call them what they are. Let's try this again. What if we have this angle and this angle? Obviously not congruent. This is acute. This is obtuse. So I'm saying if angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary, that is, they're going to add up to 180, which two lines are parallel and why? Step 1. Trace the two sides of angle 1. Trace the two sides of angle 2 you see that angle 1 will connect to angle 2. Now either you can tell what that looks like right away, or which line did you not trace, and let's ignore it. And now you can clearly see these must be the parallels. This is the transversal. Therefore, A is parallel to B. And what is this particular shape called? It's kind of like the C, turned sideways, the consecutive interior angles. And it is possible to have two angles in just unusual places. And again, the question is, which two lines are parallel and why? There is the possibility that maybe nothing's parallel. And if we traced this angle, angle 1, and if we traced angle 2, then my advice was, what's connecting angle 1 to angle 2? None of these lines are connecting this corner to this corner. Therefore, no answer. No parallels. Forget it. And that concludes podcast 2-5. Best of luck.